What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. Massive one today. Trip to the thrift Thursday morning. It's my favourite day of the week. Love getting out and finding some awesome stuff to sell on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. If you're here for the first time, guys, I'm a full-time online reseller. I sell on eBay, I sell on Facebook Marketplace, and I put out three new videos right here on this YouTube channel every single week talking about it. So for the 40% of you out there that are watching these videos and yet to hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do so now. It'd be very much appreciated. For everybody else, hit the like button because it's a great way to wish me luck for the thrift ahead. We just around the corner guys i'm really pumped about today hopefully there's some really good stuff out there for us let's get into it we'll see you in there Righto guys, not too bad of a run there, op shop number one. I've been able to spend $31 and I've bought about six or seven different items here. Let's jump into it and show you what I bought. I'm going to kick things off with a book. Now, this is the Guinness World Record book of 2019. Now, I actually bundle these up in decades worth and I've got a few now, so I'm almost ready to go again. The last decade that I sold was for $120. So there's a lot of money to be made in the Guinness Book of World Records. Uh, that was $2, so I'm only just going to keep adding it to the pile. Um, Archer, the TV show. I've got three seasons worth here. Not a complete series by any means, but it's just, again, going towards the collection. I paid $2 each, so I have paid $6, but the seasons always go on to sell a little bit better. I've got season one at home, so now I've got four. I might keep going because I know there's a few to collect, but again, just bundling for the collections. That's how I like to sell my DVDs. Uh, cool pair of shoes here, guys. Found a pair of Adidas men's shoes, US size nine. These they're a really cool pair of shoes. Uh, look, there are no comps for these shoes on eBay, I will tell you right now, but I really do think that I'll be able to go on to sell it for about 50 bucks. That's generally how I like to sell my shoes. Uh, and from the past experience, I think that that won't be a problem. Um, I've also found these as well. How cool are they? Nike Luna Solar men's shoes, US size 12, my size, but I will be going on to sell them because I do want the money. And uh, they are in pretty good condition. There's still a bit of wear left in these soles. So I was really happy to grab these. Both of the shoes, I've paid 10 bucks. Both of the shoes, I'm gonna try and go on to sell for 50 bucks each. So maybe $100 worth of shoes there, which is quite good. Um, and then I've also found the Levi Strauss brand. Now you can always rely on the Levi Strauss brand. These are a size 42 waist, 34 length, and I'm pretty happy about it because I've only paid five bucks. A slightly larger individual will probably enjoy those that I've grabbed out of the thrift. So that's everything, guys. $31 spent, number of items there to start the day, which I'm pretty happy about. A good amount of profit there, no doubt, when it all comes to sell. Let's keep charging. Upshot number two, fingers crossed, it'll be just as good.
All right, guys, we're moving along really well with this day. I've, been, I've actually grabbed it. I went ahead and I grabbed the VCR. Now, the comps on eBay were so good for this that I just simply couldn't say no. I don't mind buying VCRs because they sell really fast on eBay. And when you're paying 40 bucks, plus the remote came along with this one and it was comping for around 150 to 160. You just got to do it. I'm happy to pay a little bit more when I know that I can make some profit on it. Um, so I grabbed the VCR. It does, it just sells. Um, I've also grabbed these Nike women's running shoes. These are a US size eight. I've only paid five dollars for them. So it's going to be again a similar situation of trying to sell these for about forty five dollars free postage. I'm selling my shoes pretty regularly for fifty bucks, like I mentioned in the first run. But I think these ones are a bit more of an entry level shoe. So I'm probably just going to go forty five to get them sold. And then I also found these as well, guys. Rollerblades for me on Facebook marketplace it's just knowing your area for me on facebook marketplace these things sell so i always pick them up now these are actually a women's uh look they're nike which i've never seen before in a pair of roller skates or roller blades whatever you guys call them i don't know um but i found them for 15 dollars, and i've also found these for 15 dollars. these are the hyper extensions and i've got the adjustable strap so it goes from a size six to a size nine that helps the resale value just because you've got a few more people to play with um so i bought both of those for 15 each and i do think they'll both sell for 50 each so we're talking about a 70 buck worth of profit there and I'm putting it onto Facebook Marketplace. No fees on Facebook Marketplace. Now, when you have a look at this one, you know there's gonna be some money made. I found the Harley Davidson zip up jumper. I always look for Harley Davidson. If you can find anything in the range, um, jumpers, um, literally anything, um, this one will go on to sell. I'm gonna try and go $39.99 free postage for that one and I paid $10 for it, so I did pay a little bit for it, but I think I can make about a $20 profit. So it was worth my while. And uh, I think that was it, guys. There were the four items in there. So 30 bucks on the rollerblades, the $10 jumper, the $5 shoes, the $40 VCR. Don't be afraid to spend a little bit of money if you know you can make a profit. Um, that's it, op shop number three, let's do it. Guys, that was uh, by far the funnest op shop I have been in for quite some time. And probably more so for the fact that there is a bit of a personal collection here that I've been able to find in the NFL uh, training gear. I, I, I'm, I love this stuff. I absolutely love anything American sporting apparel. And I've been able to find the Baltimore Ravens uh, Nike training top there. Uh, some of these have even got new with tags, which is just insane. It was somebody's obviously personal collection. The ridiculous thing is it is my size, so I'm probably going to be holding on to all of these. The Baltimore Ravens, there's the Nike tick up there as well, size extra large. Um, I've got some, uh, look at that, new with tag, Nike. Uh, this one's the Seahawks salute. Um, have a look at that. That is just ridiculous. I'll be using these. I'll, I'll quickly show you the last one as well. I've got this one as well. Um, there it is, salute to service, Baltimore Ravens, Nike training tee. That is just unbelievable. So anyway, 12 bucks each for all of them. That's more for me personally. That's why I really like that op shop. I also found this Columbia jacket as well in there, which was really nice. I think this is a women's small coming into winter. This would sell for upwards about, I don't know, maybe 45 to $50, I reckon. And uh, I've only paid $7, as you would have just seen there. Um, I've also found a couple of Xbox games. Now, 
I bought five of them and I did pay $25. So I had paid $5 each for these, but they were all comping, I think $25 plus. Uh, the best of the bunch was this one here, Dr. Muto or Muto. Um, I'd never heard of this game before, Xbox game, clearly a rare collector's game. It was going for around the $40 price point, which is just crazy for an old school Xbox game. So I've grabbed him. Uh, this one's got the steel case. So steel case is a bit of a collector's one. I think this goes for about $30, Halo 3. Um, so I had to grab him. I passed on about 15 games in there that were unfortunately just not comping anything more than the $5 price point. So you really do with these games need to spend a little bit of time in there just scanning each and every one. Um, this one I've grabbed. I'm going to have a bit of a stab at this one. It was five bucks, but it was Race Driver Grid Reloaded. Um, so I've pinched him. Um, the Sims as well. I've grabbed a Sims game that seemed to be comping pretty well. I'll put all the comps up here as I always do. Uh, $5 for that one. And then I found Paintball Championship 2009 as well for five dollars so uh the last one that i found as well was a pair of uh, netball net burner 18 women's netball shoes as well and they cost me six dollars so i always turn them into about 45 bucks the netball shoes they go really well uh good soles on them as well so i got the jacket i got the shoes and then i've spent all my time on these xbox games but as you would have seen by those comps that's probably about 100 bucks worth of games and i've only paid 25 bucks so well worth my time grabbing those i'm having a really good run if you hopefully you caught my video during the week of the playstation 2 bundle that i was able to pick up off facebook marketplace just so much money to be made in the gaming category Category. I will quickly mention of the 13 games, if you did watch that episode, I've been able to sell three of those 13 games already for full asking price. So that's why I buy these games, these Xbox games that you see here, because they just go on to sell really fast on eBay. So if you're not a gamer yourself, if you've never done that sort of thing before, PlayStation, Xbox personally, still look for it in the thrift because there's quite a lot of money to be made in there. Um, I'm going to try super hard for you for the last off shop of the day. Off shop number four, fingers crossed we can finish on a high. This car is chock a full with stuff and there's a lot of money to be made but obviously a little bit of personal stuff as well so i'm feeling really good about it let's move on finish the day well we'll see you soon Couple of little money makers to win the day there, guys. Uh, let me kick you off with this book series that I found. Del Toro Quest is the series. Now, this is complete books numbers one to eight. And on eBay, there were a lot of sales for this book series and they were going upwards of 50 bucks. And luckily, I've been able to get my hands on these for just a dollar each. So $8 in for about a $50 free postage sort of scenario. Look out for this book. There it is there. You would have seen it before. Del Toro Quest. Really happy to find a complete series in that one. A um, couple of essentials here that you might have seen in the clip, depending on my edit. Um, I've got a pair of 502 um, jeans and a pair of Wrangler jeans. So Levi and Wrangler, two very good denim jeans to get your hands on, uh, which I've done there for $5 each. Uh, and then for another five dollars as well i've been able to find this Parramatta eels jumper i thought i'd grab that one for five bucks it's nrl the nrl season's just about to start um so i think that one in a size i think it was a size large no extra large that was well worth my time for five dollars as well so look it was just the four items there the jeans will generally go for about 30 bucks a piece so that's 60 um uh, plus postage as well that jumper will probably go for 30 so that's say 90 and then the books are 50 it's about 150 dollars there and i've spent 23 bucks 
shops. So that really just shows you the potential of going into a thrift store and buying a couple of items. There's quite a bit of money to be made each and every time you go in. Um, that's everything, guys. I've got a lot of items here to get back and list. Um, I've had so much fun today. This has been a really good uh, little trip out. Um, we've done four op shops. We've got a heap of stuff. There's a lot of money made, which is exactly what we come out here to do. Hopefully, these uh, videos are motivating you to go out and do your own thrifting and find your own cool stuff. I'm really, really happy to get all these messages from you guys saying that you've gone out and you've found some awesome stuff in the thrift. And honestly, that's what it's all about. And I'm only doing these videos, one, to show you what to go out and buy yourself, but just really to motivate you to keep going out and finding items and selling it online to make a few extra dollars. So I really do. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have loved every bit of this episode, hit the like button for me because it's a huge way to support the channel and I just cannot thank you enough. I really look forward to catching you in the next episode, which will be on Sunday where we do a what's sold. And uh, until then, guys, keep on thrifting and we'll see you soon. Thanks, apes.